Tel Es Seba in the northern Negev is believed to be the site of the biblical city of Beersheba. It was a market town and a military and administrative centre. The remains we'll be focusing on are the Iron Age ones from the Israelite period, and we'll start around the gates and the square and administrative buildings that stand behind it. This outer gate was built in the 10th century, Stratum 5. Unlike the main gate, it was not rebuilt after the city was destroyed, probably when Pharaoh Shishak led a punitive expedition against Israel. The walls of the gate are of mud brick on an uncut stone base. Just outside the gate, the remains of a well over 28 metres deep were found. It was also used as a system to store runoff from the city. It dates to at least the period of the judges, but despite the stories of Isaac and the well at Beersheba in Genesis 26, there is no evidence that this well can be dated back to the period of the patriarchs. Between this gate and the main gate, there is a small open space. The gates were offset from each other to make attack difficult. The main drain for the city runs down the middle of the roadway, to the well outside. The main gate was constructed with six piers, giving four rooms, two on each side. Later Israelite gates have six chambers. Notice the cobblestones paving the entire gate complex. Because this gate is constructed to a different pattern from those in other major Israelite cities from this period, Aharoni dated this one to the time of David, and the six chamber gates elsewhere to the time of Solomon. Inside the gate is a large square with barracks, storage and the governor's house surrounding it. The fact that there are storehouses in two different places around this square suggests that one had military and the other a civil use. Moving over to the left of the square we'll look at the military storehouse and the governor's house and then we'll follow the road round to look at more typical Israelite homes. The long narrow construction of this building is typical of storehouses. This one's assumed to have had a military function because it was close to the barracks and to the governor's house. At the corner where the square and the road join, this oddly shaped large room in the governor's house was a kitchen. Its size suggests the relative wealth of the governor. At this corner the square becomes a street following the line of the city wall, with one row of homes between it and the wall. We'll follow this street round and look at some typical houses. Many of the homes at Beersheba are what's called three-roomed houses. Here the typical plan of a three-roomed house has been extended into the casemate wall of the city. A casemate is two walls joined by buttresses with a gap between the walls. Here the gap has been used to make extra rooms for the home. These houses also had open alleys running beside them, allowing access to the wall. The area labelled 1 is the room which opened to the street, had stairs to the roof and contained an oven, it was likely a kitchen. Rooms 2 and 3 were separated by columns and were used for storage and animals. The rooms labelled 4 are the rooms in the casemate and they were likely used by the family. This view of such a home taken from above shows the casemate construction of the city wall very clearly. The other typical home in ancient Israel was called a four-roomed house. This example is not from Beersheba but it gives a good plan of what they were like. Notice the two rows of pillars, typical of the four-roomed house. During the excavations a number of stones were found with an obviously different origin from the rest. Three of these had an odd shape. When fitted together they formed an altar. Amos 5.5 reminds us how Beersheba was a cultic centre before the reforms of Hezekiah. It seems that at Beersheba, unlike at Arad, rather than covering the altar, it was dismantled and the blocks used in other buildings. So it seems that Tel Es Seba, Beersheba, tells the story of Israel and Judah, from the patriarchs through the monarchy, to the time of the reforms of Hezekiah or Josiah. <laughs>